brand new heart pump is in limited use now. And it now has offered new hope for a man who has suffered congestive heart disease for over 10 years. Stephanie Bell Flint has his remarkable story in tonight's Medical Matters. Not many patients are excited about getting an implantable defibrillator and pacemaker, but Charles Murray is. A couple of weeks ago, he came to Baptist Medical Center essentially on death's door, and a defibrillator was not the priority option. He said if, I, if he went back in, I would have died immediately. So. Murray is referring to comments by his doctor, interventional cardiologist Al Figueroa. This is three bypass grafts, each one of them 80, 90 percent occluded. They're 10 year old grafts. His heart function is only working at 20 percent. I think we really needed all the support we needed. You're fixing to go down. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yes, okay. I'm ready. Yeah. As Murray clung to life in a last ditch effort, Dr. Figueroa found the Impella 2.5 heart pump, and the CAF team contacted the company's office, and within eight days, the newly FDA approved device arrived. It's about the size of a number two pencil eraser. The pump itself is this little piece within the gray colored area of the catheter. This is the smallest heart pump in the world, but it's just in its infancy. Its potential is phenomenal. The next two renditions will be a pediatric version for our pediatric patient population, and then also another device for the right side of the heart. So this really is just the beginning. With this device, uh, we have, if you would, expanded the borders of what we can do. For instance, clearing Murray's blocked arteries so that he can receive a life-sustaining implantable defibrillator and pacemaker. Dr. Figueroa, he, he, didn't, he didn't have to go out every way to do, do, do what he did. I'm thankful for doctors that cared enough to, to research it or I wouldn't have been here. For Medical Matters, I'm Stephanie Bell Flint. Dr. Figueroa says the Impella heart pump is preferred in some cases because it's less invasive and safer than external heart pumps and in his patient's case, his best option for survival. You can find out more about the world's smallest heart pump on our website. Just go to WLVT.com and click on Medical Matters.